If you look at the recent claim count data, jobless data, do the early signs suggest that this is going to be a job-rich recovery? Well, unemployment has, you know, as we know, for the last three years, uh, stayed low, or relatively low, even while uh, output has been weak. Now, as you know, one of the puzzles we've been grasping with is uh, what, you know, what explains that, why the corollary productivity performance has been so poor. Uh, now, you know, to the extent that the recovery is gaining ground, we're having to judge how far you know, productivity performance will re remain weaker than trend, how far or how much it's likely that it will grow at the old trend, or whether indeed it can make up for some of the lost time. Now, I think it's fair to say that uh, different members of the committee have different views, and you can see why. This is something that hasn't happened in the in the British economy in the past, so there's no obvious basis, no obvious historical basis that we can look at. On inflation expectations, you once came up with the metaphor that they could rise gradually and it would be like a frog in a pan of boiling water. You'd be there until this long gone time to get out. Do you fear there is a significant risk that inflation expectations do just gradually rise from here? Well, I think that uh, if you have inflation above target for a long time, then most people would say that uh, that would have some implications for people's expectations of inflation. Now, obviously, what the committee has been doing is, over the last three years that I've been on it and before, is trying to explain the choices that it faces, the decisions that it's made, but in a context where we are committed to... Uh, doing the job the Chancellor has given us, which is keeping inflation at target in the medium term. You've always highlighted the risk of inflation expectations becoming de-anchored. What some economists would say is that's fine, but we've never had a definition of what de-anchored is, or there is no combined measure of inflation expectations. Is there always going to be this problem that it's such a loose term it's very hard for outside observers to make sense of what it actually is. There are a lot of data that uh, we look at and they are publicly available data so outside observers can look at them as well. I think if there were a very pronounced movement that would be completely clear. Uh, obviously the issue that we face is how best to form an overall view of you know, inflation expectations, given the disparate indicators that uh, are in the, that are available to us, that are in the public domain, and uh, it's perfectly possible that different members of the committee will you know, want to make different judgments. Uh, I'm keen that we should at least try to see whether there is some you know, sensible econometric way for combining them, but uh, obviously we can't be sure that that will be the case. No, nevertheless, I do think we need to try.